Bungie just dropped the next season for Destiny 2, Season of the Lost. This update is special because Bungie launched crossplay with this update. This means you'll be able to play with PC players on Steam, console users from Xbox and PlayStation. They've also included Stadia in this mix as well. So how easy is it to get started cross-playing with others, including the friends on your friends list? Well, let's get you set up. First, hit that subscribe button for more cloud gaming info and tips like this. The first time you open up the game with the new update, you'll be either notified that you need a Bungie.net account to be able to cross-play, or they will automatically assign you with a Bungie.net account number at the end of your account if you have a Bungie.net account linked already. Now it's probably a good idea to make sure everything is set up on your account regardless if you have a Bungie.net account linked or not. So before proceeding, head over to Bungie.net and create your account and or log in. Once you're logged in, you can check your profile and make any of these basic changes you want here. The next step is to link your platform accounts. Go to the Account Linking tab on the left navigation. Here you will choose the platforms that you play on and sync them to your Bungie.net account. You will need your platform specific credentials to log in to each individual system, so have those ready. The next part is the best part about this crossplay feature. They allow you to play your characters from one specific platform on any platform you desire. To do this, go to the cross save link on the left navigation. You should see all your linked accounts here. Now make sure that all the accounts associated with your account are authenticated and hit the continue button. You can also link your platforms from here if you didn't do it in the last step. Now that I have everything authenticated, I'll hit continue. From here, you'll be able to choose the active account with the characters you want to use on all platforms. Confirm that account, and then it will have you review your account to activate. Hit the Yes, Do It button, and it will have you hit checkboxes to confirm one last time. Once finished, you'll see a final confirmation screen, and you should be good to go. If you want to review your setup one more time, hit that button in the middle and you'll be able to see your account and the ability to deactivate cross-save. You will also have the ability to buy the expansions for every platform. The expansions do not cross over to each platform. The progress does, but the ability to play them does not. So you will have to buy them separately for each platform. Get them on sale. I would highly suggest that you add your friends from your other platforms through the Import tool on the Bungie Friends tab. You can import all of your contacts from your linked platforms from here. If you need to add a new contact from another platform, the best way to do this is to go in-game and go to the Roster tab and enter the Bungie name and the associated number here. You do need to have their correct number to add this friend accordingly. Now to find yours, highlight your name. This is the most common way to make friends with others on any platform if they're not already on your friends list. If you happen to be on the same instance and are nearby, you can send them an invite to them as well. Now to check to see if this works on multiple platforms. We'll start with Stadia first. Yep, this works. Now to try this on Steam via GeForce Now. Yes siree, this works just as well. Follow these steps so you can cross-play and cross-save with ease. If anyone you know is having trouble with this cross-play and cross-save thing, feel free to send them this video. Also, make sure to like and subscribe so you can get the latest news, gameplay, and comparisons on cloud gaming at the only place where you can do battle gaming heaven. Cloud Gaming Battle.